Hello and welcome to the Freshdesk demo. My name is Durga Sundaram. I'm a product consultant at Freshdesk. I've been working here for the last two years and my team and I have helped implement Freshdesk for companies across different industries. Some examples are HP, Harvard University, National Health Service UK. To give you an introduction, Freshdisk is a cloud-based customer support software that makes it easier for companies to provide great support to their customers. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to be walking you through a generic demo of Freshdesk. If you'd like, you can skip ahead to a particular section. You'll find details in the description below. In this demo, we're going to be talking about three different ways Freshdisk can help you. First, how you can make it easy for your customers to get help. Second, how your team can efficiently provide great support. And lastly, how team leads and admins will find it easy to set up and scale with Freshdesk. First, we'll have a look at how you can provide great support for your customers. Now, when your customers need to get in touch with you, the first thing they do is go to your website. What you're looking at right now is an e-commerce demo website. Now, as a customer, if I have a question and tried getting in touch with Salts, the page it's redirected me to is a Freshdisk customer uh, self-service portal. A Freshdisk customer portal can be made to look like any other part of your website, so your visitors don't feel like they're being redirected someone else. Now, what your customers can do is just search through your FAQs to see if they find an answer to their question right away. Now, if this doesn't help, you can always give them an option of getting in touch with you using a contact us form, asking them all the questions that your customer support team would need in order to get back to uh, the customer quickly without any back and forth emails. Now, you'd notice as and when I type uh, the question that I have, Freshdisk automatically suggests related FAQs. So even for those visitors and customers who fail to look at your knowledge base, you can always help them with the FAQs and have them redirected to them. So this way, not only are they getting answers quickly instead of having to write to your team and wait for a response, but you're saving your team's effort from answering simple questions that are already there on your FAQs. You might have noticed how the chat prompts me to speak with someone in the team. What you're looking at is our chat solution, Fresh Chat. Now, depending on what your customers are interested in, on what they seem to need help with while they're on your website or your portal, Fresh Chat can proactively try to have your team engage. And while I wait, a friendly bot can get gather information from your customers. Now, regardless of how your customers get in touch, it could be via chat, email, a form on your website, uh, they might call you up, mention you on social media. Any customer inquiry is converted to a ticket on Freshdesk. The same way you can see the history of orders you've made on an e-commerce website, customers will be able to see the history of conversation they've had with your team. So this way, they can always check whether the question is being uh, worked on by someone in the team, and they don't have to worry about following up with you. So far, we've seen how Freshdisk will improve your customer's experience. Now we'll move to see how your team will find Freshdisk useful. We call anyone working with supporting your customers an agent on Freshdesk. Now, as soon as an agent logs in to start their day, the dashboard will give them an idea of how the day is looking like. So for every inquiry that comes in, there's an SLA associated with it, a deadline. The longest time you think your customers can wait to hear from the team and get a complete answer to their question. So in my case, it looks like there are 34 customers who are waiting to hear from me, of which one has been waiting longer than three days, the SLA that I've set for my team. So the rest of the dashboard is for any person in your team to see how their day is looking like, and for supervisors, the team leads to understand how busy the team is, whether or not they're available, and how happy your customers are with the support that you've provided. What you're looking at right now is Freshdesk's ticket inbox. It has all your customers' inquiries from the different support channels that you've opened up. 
Now, depending on how they've written to you, a response from Freshdisk would go back to the same channel. As an example, a post on your Facebook page, if you reply to it from Freshdisk, it would be added as a comment on Facebook. And an email response would look like any other email in your customer's inbox. For every ticket, there's an agent taking complete ownership. So you know who is working on what and they can take care of the customer's inquiry moving forward. Now, there are statuses associated with a ticket uh, for you to understand what stage the inquiry is in. An open ticket means a customer is waiting to hear from your team. And if your team has completely answered their question and it's something that they no longer have to worry about, they can mark the ticket as closed. You can customize this inbox to only look at what you're interested in. As an example, you can filter your inbox for a list of medium priority tickets taken care of by the support team. And save this inbox view on the fly. Now you can take this inbox customization one step further with Freshdesk. Without having to open each individual ticket to understand what it's about, you can choose to see specific information about all tickets at a glance. As and when someone sends you an inquiry, it can be assigned to the right agent automatically. As an example, emails that have the word refund would be automatically assigned to the people in your team who are best skilled at handling refund related questions. You can also have fresh just distribute tickets equally amongst your team based on their workload. So you're not wasting time manually picking tickets and finding out who's available and then assigning it to them. Each agent on your team can have a cleared inbox view where they're only looking at tickets that they're responsible for and the ones where customers are still waiting to hear from them. Right? So every person in your team can have their own inbox view and as and when customers write to you, depending on whether they're available or whether they're the best person to take care of it, it would drop in their inbox for you. What you can do is instead of having to open a ticket, uh, you can just hover over your inbox to see what your customers have written to you about. From your inbox view, if you realize that more than one person has written to you about the same kind of question, you can send a response to all of them in one go. Freshdisk can automatically identify the name of the person who has written to you. So although you're sending the same email to a number of people in a matter of seconds, it would appear like a personalized email to them. Now working with a single inquiry. While working on a question, an agent will be able to see all the necessary context that they might need about a customer without any effort. While replying, you'd notice the basic salutation is already populated, so your team wouldn't have to worry about typing them again. Now for straightforward questions, you can redirect your customers back to the self-service portal. But in my case, it looks like Cindy has already had the chance to look at the FAQs on the portal. Now, because you can see your customer's journey on your portal, you would know whether or not to redirect them back there. For the responses that you often find yourself repeatedly typing, you can just insert a pre-recorded response. So we've seen how you can quickly get context about a customer and respond to them. But more often than not, we've realized working with customer support, you'd need the help of people in your team, within the company, but in a different department, or people who are outside the company, a third-party vendor or a distributor, as an example. So if you need the help of someone in your team, you can quickly connect with them over chat. You can either loop in just a single person, a mentor or a buddy, or someone who's already worked in that ticket, or an entire department. So whoever sees it first can respond to you. If teams often work together and you'd like an internal process established, you can have two different people take ownership of a single ticket.
when the second agent is looped in, it'll drop in their inbox view as well. Now you can set up reminders and internal deadlines so your customers won't have to wait longer because of internal dependencies in your company. Now, when you need the help of someone who isn't an agent on Freshdisk, you can write a private email to them from within a ticket. Now, when this lands in their Gmail or Outlook inbox um, and they respond to that email, uh, it would be added as a private note in Freshdisk. So within a ticket, you can have a direct conversation with a customer and a conversation with the team internally that the customer will not be aware of. Oh, it looks like Brian has responded already. Now, you'd be notified about these pretty much the same way you get notifications on Facebook. Since Cindy has already asked for an update and it's going to take some time to get this fixed, I can give her a quick phone call using our phone solution, Fresh Caller. Now, for every phone conversation that you have, uh, you can append the phone call and the notes that you take during the call as a part of the ticket, uh, so you can maintain context. Now, so far we've seen the journey of a customer's inquiry, how it'll immediately find its way to the right person's inbox, and how your team will be able to quickly collaborate and get back to the customer. Now, earlier we saw how a ticket can be associated with an open or closed status, but for you to understand exactly the stage at which the ticket is in, you can customize the statuses. As an example, it could be that you're waiting for the customer to get back to you, or you're waiting for another team within the company um, to give you more information so you can help the customer. Now, what Freshness can also do is, uh, as an example, if you're waiting for another team, you can have uh, Freshness send reminders to them saying, hey, we still haven't gotten an update. Uh, it'd be great if you can help. So this way, your agents don't have to worry about manually following up with team, but Freshness can take care of it. Now, for every ticket, there are properties associated with it as well for you to understand what your customers are writing to you about, uh, you know, which part of your business they're from. So um, you, you can customize this to add your own drop downs, check boxes, etc. So we've seen how Freshness can be used to improve your customers experience and your team's day to day work. Now, we'll now move to see how team leads and admins will find Freshdisk useful in drawing insights on uh, your customer support trends and how your team is performing. The very first report, Help Desk In Depth, will give you complete details on any metrics that you might need. The average time your team takes to respond to your customers, what your customers are writing to you about, um, your SLA compliance, and so on. Okay. Now, every report that you see in Freshdesk, it can be customized uh, based on some ticket properties. As an example, if uh, the team lead for a particular team uh, wants to see reports uh, that only specifies uh, their team members, you can filter the reports and save it as my own report view. I'm going to call it customer support. If you're the kind of person who doesn't uh, log into Freshdesk on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but you're uh, responsible for supervising the team, you can have a PDF version of this report automatically land in your inbox, either the first of every month or um, every week. So we have a number of reporting modules. Uh, we'll just focus on a few of them today. If you're just looking for quick answers and not a complete deep dive, you can simply ask Freshdesk. The agent performance and team performance will give complete details on every single team member's performance, how busy they've been, how fast they are in responding to customers, um, their SLA compliance, 
and so on. So when you have a one-on-one -on -one with the team, uh, Freshdisk will help you uh, deep dive and give you details on the tickets that they were able to comply with on time and the ones that the agents violated. And for every ticket, there is a uh, activity log. So you know exactly when the ticket came in, how long it took for the ticket to be assigned. So uh, you can get to the bottom of things. The other reporting modules in Freshdesk will help you understand trends over a period of time, any outliers, where your tickets are spending the most time, and a report to understand uh, the survey results, uh, how happy your customers are. So we'll have a quick look at the other modules Freshdisk has. The contacts tab, uh, it has details on every customer that, that gets in touch with you. So it's like an automatic phone book. Um, you can customize it to have more details added for every customer. As an example, uh, what region they're from, uh, what support plan they're on, etc. Now, if you already have a database of existing uh, customers, you can have that imported. So starting from day one, your team has uh, all the information they need about your customers. Next, the social tab. You have the convenience of managing your social presence from within Freshdesk. You notice any action that you can perform on Twitter, you can have it done from right here. You can also filter out relevant keywords that are being mentioned on Twitter. This way you can proactively keep an eye out for what people are talking about you, industry trends, or even your competition. The solutions tab. Now earlier we saw how you can have a self-service portal for your customers. Once you're done with the one-time job of making it look like your website, uh, adding FAQs is as simple as composing an email. You have the convenience of pushing articles immediately without having to go through a process of having something published. And your team can uh, submit suggestions as well if they think something uh, is, uh, is worth having on the, on the portal. A supervisor or team lead can quickly have it reviewed and published. You also have an option of opening up forums for your customers. Uh, the same way you would have noticed how Google, Apple, Microsoft have forums where their customers talk to each other and give each other suggestions. Now, today there are three ways a customer could be talking about you. Either they talk uh, directly with your team uh, by writing you an email, calling you up, they, or they could talk about you on social media. The third option is that they could be talking with each other. What you can do is open up forums and facilitate that and uh, have your customer support team uh, dive in and engage with them as and when necessary. Last bit, the admin tab. Now, although Freshdisk is very rich in features, setting up um, and bringing your team on board is as simple as it can get. So you'd notice the admin tab is categorized into four. Now the first part is setting up how your customers get in touch, the different channels through which they write to you, email, phone, uh, social media, etc. The next bit is uh, getting your team on board, creating the SLA properties, uh, adding those ticket fields. The third bit is the intelligent automations. So the first automation dispatcher is very similar to the 911 dispatcher in the USA. So when you call 911 in the USA, someone actually called the dispatcher, picks up the phone call, finds out how urgent it is, whether or not uh, the person needs uh, an ambulance or the police department or whether it's just spam. Similarly, this dispatcher, it look at every single inquiry that comes in and based on uh, where you want it to be redirected to, how you'd want to prioritize it, and any other action that you'd want it to do, you can have the dispatcher do it. Similarly, the supervisor is a time rule, uh, working every hour. It'll help you in sending out those reminders, escalations, and so on. The last bit is the account setting. It would be a one-time job of you importing your data from a different help desk if you're already using one uh, and choosing a plan and going active with Freshdesk. That brings us to the end of the demo.